I got an opportunity to volunteer here in Denmark at a school. It was just the perfect timing, perfect opportunity for me. And I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed the opportunity with both hands of mine and I'm here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing my compassion story. <laughs> Guys, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe. If it is your first time coming, subscribe. If you just, I don't know, for some reason the algorithm brought you this story, please subscribe. And guys, if you know anyone that works at Compassion International, the organization, tag them because I want them to see this video. Okay? So, this is my Compassion story. My name is Jennifer Mugisha, Ugandan, but currently living in Denmark. And um, I got an opportunity to volunteer here in Denmark at a school. It was just the perfect timing, perfect opportunity for me. And I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed the opportunity with both hands of mine and I'm here. Recently, I have been meditating on my life's journey and I realized how much Compassion International played a role in my life and my journey and why I am here today. So I thought I would share this as an appreciation to Compassion International but also as a way to show people that God works in mysterious ways but God builds our story in the most beautiful way. I have seen how every piece in my story just aligns so much to my life's purpose. So anyway <laughs> uh here's the story i was a com um i was a sponsored child uh, with compassion international and i was a part of the ginger child development center project in ginger so that was like the best i would say the best time of my life growing up so we used to meet every saturday to drink porridge <laughs> drink porridge eat bread and eggs and then lunch would have rice and beans till now guys i remember the taste of the that rice and beans ah it was good but most importantly i want to appreciate compassion for grounding me um in the knowledge of knowing god i have walked the life of salvation ever since i was the age of 11 yes from p6 when i was the age of 11 and so it has been an amazing experience to grow in um the knowledge of god and to get to know about god what it means to have a relationship with god and what it means to get saved and to walk a life of purpose um compassion is intentional or was intentional in terms of um grounding us spiritually it wasn't just about taking us to school but it was about us also learning about jesus that foundation guided me so much when i was growing up like i remember and for me i was the um, how do i say this i was the good kid like i followed the instructions like for example when we were taught uh for example like uh, be obedient to your parents i was obedient to my parents you know because we we're taught such things when we're taught to keep yourself pure, eh? As a teenager, keep yourself pure. Guys, I listened to those things. Um, and it really, really helped me. And as I matured to grow, I realized now I was empowered to face the world because of the things that we were taught. Now, when it comes to education, I have seen how my parents could not, you know, have uh, been able to take me to school if not for the help of compassion yes my parents contributed to my school they are lovely people my parents they gave all they could but i can see how having a sponsor in compassion helped me so 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 much and i do not take that for granted um within my family me and my young sister are the ones that are way a part of compassion and i have an elder brother and um you can clearly see the difference between me as a sponsored child of compassion and my brother who was not a sponsored child um, under compassion. So in so many ways, in terms of character, in terms of how we know God, um, in terms of how we grew, the education and all, like it's, it's just so, so, so different. And um, 
um yeah i'm really so 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 thankful to have had a sponsor i remember one time i was speaking with my young sister who's also a part of compassion and i was telling her you know what like i know i'm not going to be poor like i know like i know i'll be able to um take my kids to school and everything but i feel like i will sponsor my kids through compassion <laughs> like just for them to be a part of that community because young compassion kids guys let me first even like if you are a compassion child and you know you had a sponsor through compassion can you just share this video now <laughs> share this video now because you guys know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about it was the trips it was the camps the youth conferences we used to like at my project we used to like organize youth conferences that were epic <laughs> A big like we were the we were the cool teenagers you know with, with and we were on fire for god and we were so excited and we looked forward to the center days our center days at those women's where we met up the food when we ate like we were so excited for when we would for example eat eggs eh? like hi <laughs> when we had to eat eggs that was a good day that was you know a good day um when um ah, when we went for trips you know uh when we served when we went to clean in our communities i wish i had those photos it was really 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 an amazing an amazing time i uh, recently being here in denmark i visited hillsong um hillsong church and they were showing a video of um of compassion and uh and this is why i've actually also made this video and it was so touching to know that um if not for me being a part of compassion if not for me having a sponsor if not if not for me going through growing um in that environment if not for the wonderful compassion stuff um that taught us christ and if not for my sponsor who made that possible and i tried to look for my sponsor but i couldn't i would love to meet the lady she she used to live in the u.s and um yeah if not for all that i would not be here i would not um have the opportunity that i have now i would not be here speaking to you so guys Do you see how everything aligns everything aligns everything aligns and if you're there and you've ever maybe considered sponsoring a child through compassion but you never just got to do it or whatever someone's life can change because of you being a sponsor to them so go on <laughs> become a sponsor and if you have sponsored uh, kids through compassion look at my story and know that the money that you sent every year or every month or whenever it made an impact and i don't know uh for if you if you try to reach out to the kids that you sponsored they can show you how much they are grateful but look at my story and be encouraged that the work that you do matters okay um yeah what else did i want to share and for the kids of compassion as the sponsored kids can we carry on the responsibilities like i've told you like for me i know my kids they will be a part of compassion not because we're poor <laughs> or what but beyond the sponsorship I, it's that community it is that zeal that love of serving god that was instilled in us from way when we were children and i would want that uh, for my kids and them um, also yeah be become a sponsor you know guys i'm, sorry, I'm now speaking to us who are sponsored can we do something also <laughs> uh and yeah you know how about we also become sponsors am i speaking am i speaking <laughs> So yeah, um, that is my compassion story. Um, I'm so, so, so thankful for God. 
uh, who gave compassion this vision of empowering children out of poverty through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, I am thankful for dedicated um, employees of compassion and project managers and all those people that serve and pushed us to write letters and pushed us to write uh, my plan for tomorrow <laughs> and all those things. We love you. Okay. I'm thankful for the body of Christ that comes together to serve. I'm so thankful for all those things. So, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so thankful. So, yeah, this is my compassion story. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of this. Um, I'll be sharing more into my life of the things that God has been teaching me. Um, comment, like, share this video, and I will see you guys next time. God bless you so much. Bless you. Bless you. Mm? In fact, right now, receive the blessing of God. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>